And the number of inmates that have returned to Bauchi prison after the attack launched on Tuesday evening has swelled to over 120. The police arrested some inmates in various hideouts while others voluntarily returned to the prison yard. The Controller General of Nigeria Prisons, Ulushala Ugunipe, while inspecting the Bauchi prison after the attack, confirmed the return of some inmates. He said security agents are on the trail of other escapees and promised to fish out the culprits and punish them accordingly. He said the few armed guards on duty were taken unawares and were overpowered by the attackers who gained entrance into the main prison yard after breaking the doors. Meanwhile, there are indications that the attackers may have warned some people about the pending attack. It all looks peaceful and okay getting into Bochi. At least the street looks normal, or so it seems. All that changes when you get to Bochi prison, where mayhem has been let loose on the premises. Bullet ridden walls, charred vehicles and motorcycles as well as broken windscreens are telltale signs of the vicious attack. An improvised bomb, this gas cylinder, adds to the attacker's arsenal, a device which is disabled by the bomb disposal unit. The police, prison officials and the military huddle together, taking inventory and discussing the incident. Interestingly, some civilians had prior knowledge of the impending siege. The Controller General of the prisons has the official angle. This group attacked the prison, Bauch prison, where we are right now. Um, Bauch prison is um, having a capacity for 500 inmates, but yesterday we opened 759 inmates. And out of these 759, we had about 123 members of the um, 73 members of the Boko Haram um, sect that are awaiting trial. Um, they came in with weapons and cutters and they were able to they overpowered the guards. They broke into the cells. They freed um, members of their sect and other inmates. And apparently they used most of the inmates as shield to be able to get out of this place. Um, I want to say that 721 inmates were released out of the 759 that we had. We live in just closer to the central marks of Bauchi. So we used to take our normal prayer there every day, doing the Maghreb prayer. And everybody was happy because of the coming of the Eid al Fitr celebration. And uh, so that people would go and started purchasing their. So immediately after the prayer, that was around quarter to seven. Immediately after the prayer, then uh, we had some people, I had three people that pray near me, whispering at me that, uh, please, uh, if you have uh, your bike or your motor car, please rush and take it and go to your house because we are going to do something here. We came here to rescue our own people because we are not here for you. I said, ah, Tho, it's okay. Then I came, I was standing, then these people, before they will finish up, they go out, we started hearing some gunfire. So before you could uh, realize, then the, there is sporadic gunfire all over, uh, from the mass transport side, from the Kobe Street, from uh, the junction that is linked between the prison and Bakaro Road, and then uh, from railway side, then all over the place. Yet more signs of how dangerously equipped the attackers were. The attack once again brings to the fore the precarious security situation in Bochi State. So we're going to court here, we are in here, we are teaching to court, we are doing our best. The best the government can do, the soldiers can do, the police can do, is to take this group to court. And when this, uh, they are taken to court, they are eventually brought to prison for custody. And that is what has been done. And as government too, we've been able to provide security both inside and outside. And uh, unfortunately, some of them were brought from somewhere, and they know that there are some of their, their colleagues in here. 
So they targeted the Ramadan period and uh, they targeted the uh, zero security hour. As the battle against violence continues, there are a few vulnerable prisons in the country, including Meduguri and Azare, that need increased presence of armed security operators in order to ensure that there's no repeat of what happened at the Boucher prison. An appropriate punishment should be applied to all culprits who collaborated with the attackers.